Hello and welcome to the video tutorial about flashing and basics of configuration for select Caterpillar ECMs. Have you ever experienced problems when connecting to an ECM? No communication, can't flash, can't configure? Well this video will cover ECM flashing and the basics of configuration for select Caterpillar ECMs. This module will cover the basics of flashing an A2, A3, and A4 ECM with application software and basic configurations for a successful install. We will cover copy configuration, preparing for flashing, flashing, and the basics of configuration. Before we begin, always remember to follow all local safety protocols and to put safety first. Alright, let's begin. Prep, here is what you need. A Caterpillar Com Adapter 3, part number 538-5051, a laptop with the CAT ET software as well as a power supply if the flashing and configuring will be done on a test bench. Please contact your Caterpillar dealer to request access to the necessary hardware and software. In addition, make sure that you are using the correct harness for your ECM and machine. The use of an incorrect harness could result in permanent damage to the ECM and may void your warranty as well. If you are unsure of which harness to use, please contact your local Caterpillar authorized dealer. Throughout this module, if additional information or assistance is needed, refer to the Operation and Maintenance Manual or contact your local CAD dealer. Before we begin this process, let's review a few important reminders. Reminder 1. Keep all parts clean from contaminants. Contaminants may cause rapid wear and shorten component life. Reminder number two, make sure that there are no electrical anomalies present in the system or workbench. And reminder number three, use only official Caterpillar tools and licensed software to avoid problems when first communicating and flashing an ECM. Use of non-official tools or software may void your warranty. All right, let's get started. For this module, we will use a Reman A4E4 10R5648 engine ECM configuring it for a 140 motor grader. Section 1. Copy Configuration Copy configuration is a very useful utility when replacing an ECM. It allows the user to bring the configuration from a previously installed ECM to a new unit to reduce the time needed to configure a new ECM. Step 1. Connect the CATCOM adapter to the laptop. Step 2. Connect CATCOM adapter to ECM. If the ECM is mounted on the machine, make sure that the CATCOM adapter is connected correctly. If the ECM will be flashed and configured to a test bench, make sure that the ECM, the COM adapter, and the bypass harness are connected correctly to the power supply. Depending on which option is used, energize the machine or turn on the power supply to begin. Most ECMs operate at 12 to 32 VDC. For more reliable results, when using an external power supply, use the voltage your machine or engine is rated at. Continuing on with Step 2, launch Caterpillar Electronic Technician. Select the ECM you wish to copy configure from the list of available ECMs. While copy configuration can be useful, it is not recommended to use when the previous ECM is suspected of failure or damaged, as a corrupted memory map or internal ECM failures could be passed on to the new ECM. If an ECM displays erratic data, stops communicating, isn't holding parameters, or won't flash, it is not recommended to use the copy configuration method. For these cases, skip to step 4 of this section. Step 3. Use the Copy Configuration ECM Replacement function on CAT ET. It will ask to load information from ECM. Click Yes here. Wait for the process to finish. You will see a message saying that the process is complete. Click OK and the parameters will be displayed. Click Save to save the file to disk. If the copy configuration is successful, skip to step 5. If not, proceed to step 4. Just an added note here, you should record any logged faults and events. Open by clicking on the Log Diagnostics code and Log Events codes from the toolbar. Step 4. If you are not on the configuration screen as shown here, you can launch it after successfully connecting to the ECM by clicking on the corresponding toolbar button or by pressing the F5 key. Note to record all the parameters on the configuration screen. This is done by opening the configuration tool. Wait for the information to display and then go to File and then select Print to File. This will generate a PDF file with all the configuration parameters for your current ECM. Navigate to where you want to store the PDF file and then click Save. Note that if the parameters cannot be found, they must be obtained elsewhere. 
Some parameters are stamped on the engine information plate. Now let's move on to step 5. Create a product status report for the ECM and save it as a PDF file. You can do this by opening the product status report screen and click on create report. Then select save as and navigate to where you want to store that report. Click save to save the file to disk. Step 6. You may now disconnect your ECM from CAD ET by clicking on the disconnect button or pressing the F8 key. If the ECM is installed on the machine, remove power by turning the key switch off. If you are working on a test bench, remove power by turning off the power supply and disconnecting the bypass harness. Step 7. If the ECM is mounted on the engine or machine, remove it now. Step 8. Install the replacement ECM or bring it to your test bench. Now let's move on to Section 2, Preparing for Flashing. Step 1. Follow procedure from Section 1 to connect the ECM to CAD ET. If working on a test bench, make sure that the correct bypass harness is used. Step 2. Contact your authorized Caterpillar dealer to obtain the correct flash file for your application. Step 4. Verify that the flash file .fls or .fl2 is the correct file for your machine. It's important to note that if the flash file and engine application are not matched, engine damage may result and your warranty may be void. Section 3. Flashing the ECM Step 1. Launch CAT ET. It will automatically begin to detect ECMs. If CAT ET does not begin to automatically detect ECMs, go to the menu, Utilities, then Wind Flash, or click on the toolbar icon. Step 2. Once an ECM has been detected, select the ECM you want to flash from the list of available ECMs and click OK. CAT ET will then display ECM information and will enable the option to load the product flash file. For Atom 2, Atom 3, and A4, ECM flashing should only be done using CAT Datalink CDL or J1939 CAN protocols. Just a reminder to contact your authorized Caterpillar dealer to obtain the correct flash file for your machine. Now, verify that the ECM information is correct. For some remanufactured ECMs, the part number and serial number will not match what is written physically on the unit. This is not a defect. However, the suffix code, or the last two letters of the serial number, should always match. If no ECM is detected, verify that all the connections are hooked up correctly and that the power is present on the ECM battery pins. Turn the power supply off, then back on, then relaunch CAT ET and try again. Step 3. Click the folder icon located to the right of the flash file field. The flash file selection dialog will appear. Step 4. Navigate to where your flash file is located on your computer. Step 5. Select the flash file and verify that the information displayed in the file values section matches your machine. If it does, click open. Step 6. Click Begin Flash. Step 7. CAT ET will display a progress bar that goes from 0 to 100%. Once flashing concludes, a message will be displayed. A very important reminder here, do not interrupt the flashing process as it may corrupt ECM memory and cause erratic behavior. If a memory wash process is required for your ECM, contact your Caterpillar dealer and request that service. Your ECM is now flashed and ready to be configured with the parameters necessary for your machine. And finally, we arrive at Section 4, Basics of Configuration. Step 1. If necessary, use CAT ET to clear the rating interlock. To do so, enter the factory password when the electronic service tool is first connected. Activating the test ECM mode will also clear the rating interlock. Note. Please consider that when the test ECM mode is activated, an internal timer sets a 24-hour clock. This clock will count down only while the ECM is powered. If the new ECM fixes the problem, the engine can be released while the test ECM mode is still active. After the ECM has counted down the 24-hour period, the ECM will exit the test ECM mode. The parameters, the accumulated hours, and the engine serial number will be permanently programmed into the new ECM. The new ECM can no longer be used for another engine or for a test ECM. Please also note that test mode is only available for Tier 4 machines.
Step 2. Use cat ET to program the parameters obtained in Section 1, either from the Copy Configuration option or manually. Perform the following procedure. If the Copy Configuration procedure was successful, use the Copy Configuration ECM replacement function to load the configuration file into the ECM. Note that during the following procedure, factory passwords may be required. If factory passwords are required, follow the procedure to generate them to continue writing parameters to ECM until the copy configuration process is complete. If the copy configuration procedure fails, configure the parameters individually using the configuration tool. The parameters should match the parameters from Section 1, Step 4. Step 3. Check for logged diagnostic codes using the Logged Diagnostics tool. Factory passwords are required to clear logged events. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Your ECM is programmed and ready to be used on your machine. Remember to always refer to your OMM and Caterpillar Authorized Dealer for troubleshooting and support.